Now, ju- just a bit more about about the Eduex Festival that's going on throughout throughout June. Uh, yesterday, I went to what turned out to be the good, the bad, and the ugly of online education. Uh, I think it had a different title ori- originally, but it was it was very interesting what they what they're doing. It was at the at the business school, and. There's a course on international business is is one of the examples they gave. Um, there's going to be a centre for online learning um, over the summer, spring summer, and it it will be in line with the di- di- the university digital strategy and the 2030 strategy. Um, but pre- previously, I thought the 2030 strategy had a an innovation, education innovation centre, which I've, I haven't been able to find out anything about, but maybe there's more than one centre, but this one's definitely about online, which wasn't very clear in in the what what the other one was about. I think, and the the, the main 2030 strategy is quite um, m- uh, tendential about about. M- moving things online it's not it's not doesn't it didn't appear to be a priority as far as i could make it out but if there's a center for online learning that's that's pretty clear what that what that is um and there's also a university digital strategy which i think is going to be m- find out more about that at at, at, at another meeting so that that's there's two there's two other meetings. Let me just get my get the right dates if I can. Uh, yeah, twelfth of June. That's Monday, three o'clock. Show show not tell. Using the humanities to bring our digital strategy to life. And what I, what I think about that is you 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 might go the other way around and use the digital strategy to promote the humanities. Because um, there is um, a digital humanities lab, which is more or less a radio studio, or in part it's a radio studio, and video as well. Um, that's not exactly what they what they call themselves, but I, I did visit, and that is that it's got very good equipment, and um, I imagine they they will be involved in the show not tell event. And I'd like to to contact the press office or find out a bit more about how how this is going to be promoted, because um, I, I, I did have a camera yesterday, but it didn't seem appropriate. Uh, it was more of a discussion meeting, um, but it was all on uh, Microsoft Teams. There were there were remote people part of the meeting, so I guess that was recorded and a, a lot of the events part of the edux festival are going to be recorded um in different well they're going to be going to be online so there's there's the the possibility uh, it depends what you think the quality is of of the kind of record that you get out of that which is variable but there's there's different ways of approaching that depending on what you're trying to do um so I'm going to try and contact somebody in the in the press department or who c- could give permission for bits of video, if that if that um, fitted into whatever else was going on. So um, any any feedback um, would be welcome, or any other ideas people have. If you've come across um, bits of uh, YouTube or um uh what's the what's my instagram yes i i i i i i'm trying to get used to instagram i'm i'm really a um a twitter person but the um the interns have arrived to do the social media for edux and i've got the impression they they quite like instagram so i'm i'm going to try and keep keep up with that and um the, the the other the other thing is Simon Nelson was in Exeter yesterday, and gave a talk, which I I didn't go to because I, I had to 
catch up with some other things. But um, that's very interesting. He 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 was um, working for FutureLearn, uh, the MOOC platform. Um, but now he's working for QA Higher Education, which is um, supporting various universities offering offering online on quite quite a large large scale. Uh, so now I'm going to. I'll come back to, to, to some of this, but um, essentially, and following on from the, the, the YouTube clip that I've, that I've tweeted about, which explains the, the benefits of, of uh, video, just asking what, what's, what's already planned that could be linked to. And the, the other thing is, if, the, if, if they're made Creative Commons, it's very easy to play them on radio. Um, but radio can work from mp3 or whatever arrives um i say confidently and i'm hoping this is going to work um i'm told the the computer's now connected to the desk so we'll we'll see if this if this works